Hey guys, Thunderhound369 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Marvel Universe World War Hulk. Before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to Aetherus69, Richard, for sending me this guy as part of a Christmas gift along with this guy right here, the Guardsman. Got the, he sent me both of those as a Christmas gift. I thank him for that. So hang loose there, buddy. Now let's go ahead and get on with it. We'll go ahead and take a look at the card. The first thing I want to show off is this artwork of the Hulk here on the front. I love this profile. That arm guard. It's got the slight shield logo here at the bottom. And on the back it's got Hulk in full battle dress. This read up says Betrayed by those he once called allies, and de devastated by the destruction of a place he had come to call home, the Hulk has returned to seek revenge. His massive stone starship hovers above the streets of Manhattan, and his alien army has turned Midtown into a prison camp for the heroes of Earth. He will never descend to the level of those who betrayed him, but he intends to teach them all a lesson they will never forget. And over here we have other figures available in the wave. We have Spider-Woman, Spider-Man 2099, and another Iron Man. Seems like they can't sell these without an Iron Man or a Spider-Man in there somewhere. I mean, I'm glad we're getting Spider-Man 2099. I mean, it's a different design. But I just don't think we need so many Iron Men and so many Spider-Men just to sell figures like this. I just don't think it's necessary. And we have the shield logo here. Strategic hazard intervention espionage logistics division. Directorate. They changed the name. I thought it was division, but it's directorate. And then here we have Steve Rogers in his dynamic extreme collect them all pose telling you collect them all now I don't know exactly what they're calling him these days I don't know if it's America's soldier or America's super cop but that's pretty much his new costume since he let uh, Bucky take over full time as Captain America Glad to see Steve back, but it's kind of a shame they didn't put him back in the suit. But oh well. I mean, it's kind of like what DC did with bringing Bruce Wayne back. Now we have two Batman. We no longer have the Batman. We have Batman. But I'm not complaining. I love the storylines they're putting out. They're good. They're great, except a few Marvel that few storylines Marvel's done here lately I'm not too thrilled with but we're not here for that so we'll move on I'm just glad they finally took Norman Osborn off the package I'm kinda getting a little tired of looking at that so first thing we'll look at is the base stand it's got the nice little Marvel logo in gray uh, in embossed in it Two foot pegs, which he just don't need. I mean, I put—I I don't know about the other guys that got this figure, but when you put him on here, it straightens his legs up, puts everything so close together. He just looks so goofy. And he's got Hulk, 003, 2010, made in China. And we'll take a look at the axe. And the axe is. Very good. It's got some real good detail to it. It's got a real worn look to it. Pitted, scarred, chipped look to it. Rusty look. Very nice. Got some kind of engravings through here. I don't know what that could be. I, it's hard to tell what it could be it being from the planet Sakar.
got some pretty good detail along the handle and he can hold it very well in either hand want to take a look at the sword again the hilt got some it's got some decent detail to it it's just kind of blank uh, plain ordinary but the blade is is real nicely detailed again with the rustic chipped cracked pitted look to it well used look the detail they put into that is really nice it does fit real well in the sheath on his back fits in real nice well it does fit it did fit there we go perfect fit in the shield nice detail on the shield nice detail to the wood the grain the cracks the you see where it's been hit with swords sword strikes scars very well worn got the clip the clips onto his arm it clips on real good Got the little nubs to represent spikes. Because we know we can't have super sharp objects on our toys these days like we used to. Can't have sharp edges. We'll poke our eye out. Now on to the big guy himself. Take a look at the Hulk. Now all this the strap for his sword and everything. It is removable. But I'm not going to take it off. Everything, you know, the skirt and everything is removable. But I'm not going to take it off. I love the detail. I just wish we could have gotten, instead of this bronze color, we could have got a more steel look to it. But I guess, you know, being from the planet Sakaar and it being the well-worn look, it's just... It's battle used, so it's a good paint paint scheme. It's really good detail. You can see where some of the paint. Now, it's not the paint coming off the figure. It's just the way they painted the figure to make it look like paint is coming off. It's just those slight, those minor details that they've put in. I mean, you can see more hits that he's took from swords and more of the worn off paint look. cracked and pitted so don't don't worry for you other guys that's got this this figure sports wolf 3 lunacy 05 guys don't worry it's not paint coming off it's just the way they actually painted it to look like the paint has faded it's just a great look to it the face face sculpt is just outstanding Good detail, good jawbone, jawbone. The way the sculpt is, the hair, everything's just good. But for you other guys that got this figure from Aetherus or anybody else that has this figure, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this, but when I took this guy out of package. To be honest with you, certain parts of his body actually feel like rubber. I mean, his head is just a little squishy. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but his body is just solid. But everything else feels like it's got a slight rubber feel to it. I like that. And we take a look at the back. Nicely sculpted back. Detail on the sheath for the sword. Got the buckle. I mean, this is just one awesome figure. One 
awesome figure. The skirt, or the loincloth, I should say. As far as articulation, his head will go full 360. Also, will he can look up and can look down. As you can see that neck joint back this way. Hey, arms will go full 360. Can come out in. Does have upper bicep. He does have an upper bicep movement. His elbows only move to to here, but that's just the bulk of the figure. His arm, his wrists will rotate full 360, and you can see right in here detail to the palm of the hand, actual detail. Your scar lines that you have in your palm, your hands, they've actually molded, they've actually put that into there. I just noticed that. That's neat, nice. Very nice. Upper torso, upper abdomen movement. He has a waist. Legs will go out. Well, they're somewhat. Mine won't move. There they go. That one. This one must be stuck. Oh, you got to be kidding me. For as long as I've had this guy for a few weeks now, it's the first time. You got to be kidding me. On camera. You had to do it on camera. You. Anyway, let's keep going. Upper thigh, knee joints. No lower calf, ankle joint. You on camera of all things cannot believe it. Anyway, there's and like you saw, guys, be, watch out for that waist joint right there. Mine just fell right off. As much as it, of course, I haven't I haven't fiddled with it that much, so I wasn't expecting that. That that was not planned. I didn't expect that at all. So, guys, other than this hip joint right here, other than his hip joints to watch out for, it's a great figure. Detail is spot on I love the look and feel of it I mean like I said he does hold his weapons he can't hold all of his weapons but that's not the way I've been displaying him I've been displaying mine put the battle axe in across his back I've been displaying mine like this Trying to keep up with everything. I've had mine displayed this way with all his weapons on his back. That's usually how he is on my shelf. So guys, there he is. World War Hulk from Marvel Universe. Aether 69. Thank you for the gift. I'm going to go work on this joint right here. So until next time, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching. This has been Thunderhound369. I'm out of here. See y'all.